Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical. And what we're going to do today is have a look at making a Final Cut transition in Motion 5. So I've already got this chosen here and I'm going for a presentation of 1280 by 720 Frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 200 frames. So let's click on open and get started. So there we go, we've got the base of the thing set up there with a transition A and a transition B. And what we'll do is we're going to put some stuff in there just so that we can see the transition happening better as we build it. So we'll drag this picture here and put it into transition A. Making sure we get them in exactly the right place where we need them. So we move it up there and when we see the curly arrow or the curved arrow we put it in there and drop it in there. So that's our starting point. So before we do anything to this transition if we just press play we'll see that it plays through on the first step part of the transition and it changes like a hard cut one transition image to the next okay so the next thing to do is to drag this to the end of the project and we're going to drag the start of transition B through to frame 80 and we're going to animate the opacity of transition A by selecting transition A moving the pointer to the start and we're going to make sure that the opacity is at 100%. So let's just move it off 100% and bring it back there again. Press the record button. Then we're going to drag the playhead, frame 80, and we'll set the opacity at 100 again. Now we're going to move the playhead through to 130, and we're going to set the opacity to 0. There we go. So let's just turn that off and press play should see it fade out and fade in again to the next one. There you go, that works. Now what we want to do is go to the uh, layers list and go to the group. And we're going to choose a filter to put on there. Light rays. So now we need to do some more animation. So let's take the playhead to the start first of all. So what we do is uh, press the record button for our keyframing. And we're going to put the amount of light rays down to zero. I go to frame 105. So there we go to one frame 105, and we'll set the amount of light rays up to a suitable amount. Let's go for say 50. Move the playhead to the end, and now we'll set the light rays back down to zero again. So let's turn them off and see what sort of transition we've got now. So there you go. We get one transition to another. And we get a bit of an effect in between. What we can do though is we can add another filter to the top of that. So let's just stop that first of all. And then go back down to our filters. So let's go for a little bit of a ripple. So again we need to animate this. So let's bring it to the start. Let's select it first of all. Then we'll press our record button. We'll change the amplitude down to zero. Bring the playhead to 105 again and there we're going to change the amplitude up to uh, let's go for 22 23 move the playhead on to the end and we'll change the amplitude back down to zero again so let's turn that off now and we'll press play to give a bit of a test So there you go, we've made ourselves a new transition to use in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's press pause on that there and we'll go to File and Save. We'll put it into Category of Extras and the Theme. I'll put it into Amazing One again because that's where I save all the other stuff. We don't need to include the unused media, which is the backgrounds that we put in there. And we'll give it a Save Preview Movie. So let's click on Publish. And we just have to wait for it to do its stuff so that it can be used in Final Cut Pro 10. So here we are in Final Cut Pro 10 and we've got a couple of video clips in our timeline. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the playhead there and we're going to add a transition. So let's go to our themes. And we've got light ray and ripple. So you see we've got a bit of a uh, thing there showing us what's going to happen when we put that in there. Let's drag that and drop it in. So the transition has rendered, and now let's just uh, scrub through that so we can have a quick look at it. It's all going a bit wobbly there, and it's doing the light ray thing, and it's changing to the other clip. Let's run it through properly now. 
Pressing the space bar to play. Not bad really, it's something that you could use if you wanted to suggest a passage of time from one thing to another or maybe if you were telling a story you wanted to make it look like you was going back in time and looking at something in the past. So there you go, that's how easy it is to make a Final Cut Pro transition using Motion 5. So why don't you go and make yourself one now? Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.